in this video we are going to discuss about dictionary methods in the last video we have seen about creating a dictionary accessing the items of a dictionary adding modifying uh, uh, deleting a dictionary we saw all those topics now let's see about dictionary methods uh, first let us create a dictionary uh, one colon let the value is a next to two colon let the value is b three colon let the value is c so dictionary means uh, a collection of items which are enclosed in curly braces uh, this is first item this is second item and this is third item each item is represented with the help of key value pair uh, first item key is one and its value is a here the keys and values may be either integers or floating point values or strings or booleans or complex numbers okay here we have taken keys as integers and values as strings so key and value are separated by colon symbol here the items are separated by comma after first item we have comma symbol and this is second item second item key is 2 and its value is b so key and value are separated by colon symbol after second item we have comma symbol next third item key is 3 and its value is c so key and value are separated by comma symbol now let us see the methods of dictionary one by one uh, let's see the first method the first method is copy method d1 is equal to d dot copy so whenever this uh, method is executed then the items of d dictionary are copied to d1 so if you display d1 now then we will get dictionary d items only okay that is about copy method now let's see about the next method that is clear method so d1 dot clear so whenever clear method is executed then items of the d1 dictionary are cleared or removed but we will get the empty dictionary if you display d1 so if you display d1 we are getting what empty dictionary uh, now we have what d dictionary now let's see the next method get method so d dot get off get method accepts that key as the input and provides its value as the output so for the key one what is the output key one value is a so d dot here get off one will returns a as the output so likewise d dot get off two it will produces key two value what is key two value b so it will produces b as the output okay here the keys and values are of any data type so this is about get method now let's see about items method items method items method returns a list of items so list means uh, within the square bracket we will get the output okay uh, dict underscore items of of within the parenthesis it is returning a list of items so that's why here we have a square bracket list means uh, the elements are enclosed in square bracket and each item is represented in the form of uh, so what is this representation this is nothing but a tuple so each item is uh, represented in the form of a tuple so this is first item and this is uh, second item and this is third item so in the same order uh, likewise uh, we will get the output for the remaining two methods also let's see the next method d dot items is over the next method is keys so d dot keys so whenever this method is executed then it will returns a list of keys here what are the keys first item key one second item key two third item key three so within the square bracket we will get the output <coughs> so dict dot so previously items means we got dict dot underscore within the parenthesis so keys means within the parenthesis what are the items within the square bracket one two three it is returning list of items list means within the square bracket uh, let's see the next one d dot values d dot values d dot values so if we execute uh, here why we are getting this error is uh, i am executing this statement uh, here that's why we are getting that error okay this is not a valid method so d dot values so it will returns the values so what are the values a b c it returns a list of values so abc will be enclosed in the square bracket okay so totally we have three methods so d dot items means it will returns a list of items 
I'm sorry, D dot items. So D dot items means it will return a list of items. Okay. Each item is uh, stored, represented in the form of what? A tuple. Next D dot, what is the next one? Items is over. What is the next one? D dot keys. Next one keys means it will return the list of keys. D dot values means it will return the list of values. So that's why within the square bracket we got the output. Now let's see the next method that is update method. Okay. D dot update of it is useful in order to update the dictionary. So D dot update of uh, let us create uh, two more items. So four colon D. So this is the next item. Uh, let us take some other items like name name so this is what here name is what key in corresponding value some Ramesh some percentage percentage this is a string some 78.9 this is nothing but a floating point number next to close that uh, curly braces next type parenthesis so whenever the statement is executed then these two items are updated in D these two items are added to D. So if we execute D, then we are getting what? Two more new items. Name Ramesh and person 78.9. Okay. So this is about update method. Now let's see the next method. That is pop method. So D dot pop off. Here we have to supply key as the input. If we supply key as the input, then what will happen is it will returns the corresponding value and that entire item will be deleted. So what is that item? Name. So name Ramesh, that item will be deleted. So it is returning what? What is name value Ramesh? It is returning that value. So if you display D, then the entire item name Ramesh will get deleted. Okay. Name Ramesh got deleted. So this is about pop method. Next we have pop item method. So by using this method, then what will happen is the item which we inserted last will be deleted. So what is the item which we inserted last percentage 78.9. So that item will be deleted. So we will get that item as the output now. It will returns the last inserted item. So percentage 78.9. So this item will be deleted. So pop method means we have to supply key as the input. So it will returns value as the output. If you display D then that item will be deleted. Here also item will be deleted but the last inserted item will be deleted. But which one it returns? It returns that entire item as the output. Okay. So if you display D, then what will happen? That uh, percentage 78.9, that item will be deleted. Uh, now let's see the next method. That is uh, set to default method. It is useful in order to provide, in order to uh, provide a default value for the corresponding key. So D dot set to default of 4 comma D. Here with key 4, so no, no item is there. So that's why what will happen is a new item will be added with this key value. So if you display D, then what will happen is we will get one more item. We will get one more item. So that is what 4 colon D. So it is returning which value? D. Why? Because what is key 4 output D? What is key for default value? What is uh, this uh, key value D? So that's why we are getting that output. Or uh, let us execute one more statement. D dot set to default of D dot set to default of 3. So if we use 3, then what will happen is it will produce what is the 3 value? It will produce C as the output. Okay. So if we want to provide a default value for a key, then we use the set default method. Now let's see the last method that is from keys method. So if we want to create a dictionary, then we use this method. Uh, before that, let us create uh, some keys here. So for the keys, uh, I am using the statement key is equal to uh, key is equal to. Let us create the keys here. So key is equal to so one comma two comma three. Just I have created some three keys here. Uh, now d dot from keys of here we can enclose here keys means here we enclosed within parenthesis uh, why because we know uh, when we use parenthesis 
uh, while creating the tuple we uses the parenthesis so tuple means uh, immutable we cannot change the contents of a tuple okay we cannot change the contents of a tuple so that's why here uh, we placed one two three within the parenthesis we know that uh, keys are immutable here okay d dot from keys of key comma value let us provide some value uh, some value I let the value is some ramesh then what will happen is for all the keys we will get this value what are the keys here one two three so for one the value is ramesh for two the value is ramesh for three the value is ramesh but the contents of the dictionary won't changes dictionary content is original only okay uh, next uh, so these are next we have clear method i think already we have seen clear method so clear method means it clears all the uh, items of the dictionary so this is about uh, dictionary method